Let's talk black history. In May 1851, an iconic speech delivered by Sojourner Truth, often referred to as the Ain't I a Woman speech, occurred. The problem is, is that famous line may have never happened. Yes, you heard that right. According to Smithsonian Magazine, it may never have happened. The magazine quotes Nell Irvin Painter, a professor emerita of American history at Princeton University, who published a landmark book titled Sojourner Truth, A Life, A Symbol. Painter says Gage's memory of the speech has truth speaking in the ventriloquized southern broken English dialect that 19th century white authors often put in the mouths of African American. The truth is that Sojourner wasn't even southern, having truth use language like well chillin war dar's so much racket dar must be summing out a kilter this framing was meant to lessen truth to be just an enslaved woman and there you have it a trend in history to dismantle change or even erase black history systematically the erasure of black history is a systemic and complex issue that has affected our society's understanding of the past, present, and future. Black history is not just a collection of forgotten stories, but a rich tapestry of experiences, cultures, and contributions that have shaped America's identity. However, despite its undeniable significance, black history has been sidelined, simplified, or altogether erased from our collective memory. This erasure has been perpetuated in various ways including textbook omissions, media stereotypes, and political pressures that censor or silence critical black narratives. For decades, school textbooks have minimized or entirely neglected significant events and figures in black history, presenting an incomplete and skewed version of the past. In Florida's public schools, they're teaching students that black people benefited from slavery because it supposedly taught them valuable skills. On top of that, the controversial new standards include teaching about how black people were also perpetrators of violence during Kids race massacres. Kids fill in the blanks for themselves. New standards present only half the story and half the truth. What we should be striving to do is provide our students with all of this information and let them formulate their own opinions. I know what you're thinking. How is this even possible? Well, it also doesn't help that the media has played a role in perpetuating stereotypes or neglecting the depth and diversity of black experiences and contributions, furthering the narrative that black historical experiences lack complexity and hold little value in society. The lack of effort to preserve black historical sites and landmarks is another troubling aspect of the erasure of black history. Many of these sites are in disrepair and need more recognition and preservation afforded to other historical sites. African-American historic landmarks have long been forgotten, but in 2021, the National Trust for Historic Preservation created a $50 million fund to preserve African-American cultural landmarks. However, this is only a tiny fraction of the $2 billion the U.S. spends to preserve other historical sites. Funding for research into Black history has historically been disproportionately low imposing economic barriers to exploration and documentation. Urban renewal and gentrification have physically erased neighborhoods that were once thriving centers of black culture and history, like Atlanta's Washington Park neighborhood, Harlem, New York, and Portland, Oregon. The construction of infrastructure projects like Interstate 5, Memorial Coliseum, and other public facilities led to the forced displacement of black residents from their homes and businesses, eliminating their sources of wealth in community gathering places. Additionally, discriminatory lending policies, predatory landlords, and urban renewal efforts further exacerbated the challenges faced by Black Portlanders, causing them to be pushed out of their neighborhoods. The city attempts to address gentrification and displacement, indicating that despite efforts to provide affordable housing and support for displaced families, the outcomes have been mixed showcasing how urban renewal and gentrification have physically erased neighborhoods that were once thriving centers of black culture and history. The few who stayed in Portland were mostly relegated to the North and Northeast, by 1960 home to more than 80% of the city's black population. 
for years, the area saw little to no investment, ignored by lenders and developers. Property values plummeted. But by the 1970s, a series of city projects raising hundreds of houses in the way. Private money poured in. So did new homeowners who could afford to live here. Many existing residents were priced out. Public and political discourse selectively remembers certain aspects of black history, almost always disregarding positive black narratives, allowing the erasure of these fantastic black neighborhoods and institutions. The underrepresentation of black individuals in academic settings also limits the scope and depth of historical scholarship and education. As of 2021, black people made up only 6% of full-time faculty. Specifically, 4% were black female and 3% black male, while white people make up 76% of all higher education faculty. This means that our own history is being taught to us by people who may not fully understand or appreciate its significance. All of these factors have contributed to the erasure of black history, perpetuating a narrative that marginalizes or undermines black achievements and struggles. This erasure is not just a relic of the past, but a recurring issue that reshapes how we understand history today. However, we can work towards a more inclusive and accurate historical narrative by acknowledging the erasure and taking steps to rectify it. We must commit ourselves to amplifying black voices, celebrating achievements, in nurturing an inclusive narrative, reflecting our shared history's richness and diversity. In doing so, we can move forward as a more just and equitable society that recognizes and learns from past mistakes to build a better future for all. The collective consciousness and the pursuit of equality and justice demand no less.